Hi everyone, this is Ivor, and today we will introduce how to enable the NTP function in uh, Delta, HMI, and POC. First of all, we will uh, talk about what is NTP. NTP is a network time protocol, which is a networking protocol for time, uh, clock time synchronization. But uh, in POC or HMI, normally we will call it a RTC, it's a real time clock. And below, we provide to uh, common NTP server. First uh, is a port.ntp.org. Another one is a Google NTP. So Google NTP you can find with a time.google.com uh, or you can use the IP address uh, 216.239.35.0. Okay, this tool for Google. And system architecture is uh, here. We will use a uh, Delta uh, BX router and for the Wimple which will connect to the ISP that means we, it can access to the internet and for LAN port, uh, local, local port we will connect to uh, both uh, Delta DOP100 uh, HMI and uh, DOPS100 POC and as you can find here we will use uh, DHCP it means it will get the IP address from uh, this router and let's check the setting in uh, HMI. So you have, uh, before you uh, go to this step, you have to install uh, DOP soft first. And after you uh, open DOP soft, and you can uh, go to the project tree and find this configuration. Then we select uh, NTP uh, network setting. And remember to select your time zone of your country or your region and you can enable the NTP function and use the server name that the port ntp.org or any other NTP in your country. Then uh, for the calibration, Delta provide two, uh, two type of service. First one is uh, calibration when uh, HMI just uh, start up. Second one is uh, every uh, period of time, then we will uh, calibrate one time. So here we use a 10 second flex example. And uh, in HMI, uh, because we mentioned we have to set in uh, DHCP, DHCP mode, so here we have to go internet and find the local host and we select both override IP and uh, obtain IP address automatically. So this tool will help us to uh, get the IP address. Uh, it will change the from static uh, to DHCP mode. And for POC part, uh, we have to install ISP soft and after you uh, select uh, the POC to S series then you can double click the hardware config after that you will find this POC and you double click again and uh, come to the Ethernet uh, basic setting so we have to change this one from static to DHCP and after that let's go to the advanced setting and we select N NTP so we, again Remember to select your time zone and uh, type in the IP address of uh, NTP server. And if you still remember, this is a uh, Google uh, IP address for the uh, NTP server. Okay. And again, uh, we still use a 107WB as example. So uh, remember, we have to go here find a local host and select a box. So this one will let the HMI go to uh, obtain the IP address from DHCP. And you may have one question then uh, if you use uh, DHCP then how can we check, uh, check the IP address? So here you can uh, use a numeric, a numeric uh, display and we can select uh, here to internal parameter and we can select IP and as you know we still use IP or uh, before so that means you will use a more IP address so we just change it uh, from IP1 to IP2 IP4 from IP1 to IP4 so this is IP3 and this one is IP4 
after that, uh, we can use a button to change the file this one time. Okay, so this is the power system uh, date and time uh, check. And of course, here we can uh, check the time. After that, uh, so let's go to configuration. And remember here, uh, we have to enable NTP server and select the time zone. And here we now use a, uh, okay, let's change to time google.com and we select the calibration uh, every 10 seconds and I will show this function to uh, BNC so let's enable BNC function over here and we might change the color of uh, this red the background color so we download From HMI, I already know the IP address uh, one, uh, one, 92.168.2.35. Uh, uh, so we just uh, type in this IP address and try it with the password 128. So now you can see uh, this is the IP address. And we can change the time to, for example, 85. So they will still remember the uh, Calibration is every time, uh, 10 seconds uh, calibrate one time. Okay. You can see now it's uh, back to 30 again. Okay, and then we change to 36. So, uh, 10, uh, 10 seconds later, you will go back to uh, 30. So this this part is for uh, Delta HMI uh, RTP synchronization. Then we will go to the POC part. In POC part, uh, let's try. Uh, we find the IP address first. So we uh, double click the uh, uh, car manager and do the auto search. So we can find this is the IP address of uh, AXPOC. Here we can open translate uh, as an X of two one net. And then uh, let's double click hardware public. Okay, and here uh, we can upload the setting first. Select the internet and we select the exact IP of POC. Then we can check the connection status. So now we already build a connection between that up to our POC. And we double click how we complete again. Okay, let's uh, upload again. Basic, so we can find we already changed to HTTP. And for the advanced function, we try the NTP and IP address is a two one six point one two three nine point three five point zero. And here we use a one every uh, one minute to update one time. Okay. Then we go back to our ISP soft. Here we just open the simple POU. Okay, 
Okay, so here we got a very uh, simple program uh, because later if we want to monitor the uh, information, we have to download the program. So uh, let's download the and we can. Use a special register to check the status of a QC time. Okay, so you can find this is the uh, uh, QC internal or real time clock. So, uh, this is the date or uh, months. Okay, so uh, here is a uh, uh, year, uh, months, uh, date, uh, and time. Okay, so let's go live first. And we can check from the RTC. So now we can see the time is a safety plan. So later we can uh, change this time uh, to a uh, bigger value. We change it to serve uh, 14. Okay, so I forgot this one. Uh, this register is for read only, so Let's go offline first and we can change the time from here. So now we can change uh, 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 date, uh, date of time. So we, uh, here we can try with the customized time. So here we can change it to 44 and we synchronize. You will see now with a uh, you see time is a uh, forty four. Okay, let's uh, go back here. You can see this is a POC time. So uh one one minute later you will uh, go back to uh, forty because uh, you will synchronize with the NTP. So you will uh, the time should be uh, similar with uh, computer time. So we can see now it's almost the uh, same as uh, POC. Easy. Okay. So let's all for uh, today.